So you've decided to play as a 4-3-3 false nine and you want a bit of help with some custom meta tactics, let's get straight into it guys. So, so I've chosen Liverpool just to show this off as I think they're the best 4-3-3 false nine team. Let's get into the formation. Okay, so squad doesn't matter at the moment. So formation, that's how it sets up, okay? So your false nine is playing a bit behind the wingers that are a bit uh, further forward, very tight midfield, and your back four and your keeper. So we'll get straight into the tactics, guys. Now, you do need to change this up. Now, team to team is going to vary, but in reality, to you make this work, Liverpool have the best tactic set up minus a few different things. Okay, so you want press after possession loss, you keep there. You can't do constant pressure, guys, unless you've got 75 minutes on the clock and you're looking to press because you're down 1 0, 2, two 1, whatever, then it can work, but you've got to, with your players are going to get absolutely smashed, okay? So press after possession loss. Width, we come back to my favorite 65, as we all know. Depth works okay for Liverpool, but you want you don't want to be much higher than 70, okay, guys? Because Liverpool obviously play a high line. Right, so now we play with the false nine guys. So you've got sort of got like a target man. So you want to play a long ball. And you want forward runs from your wingers, okay? So you want the midfielders running forward, playing long balls over the top to your center forward or out wide to your wingers and cutting back, okay? Width 65 is perfect. Players in the box, we're going to drop back to nice. five. Uh, even four. We'll go four. Corners uh, will stay at three. Free kicks, three, and that's all good. That's all fine. Rolls. Now, for Liverpool, obviously, this is going to be dependent on the team, so it's not really going to matter, but... I wouldn't recommend changing too much in any of the 4-3-3 false nine setup. Instruction. Now, this is where we're going to have to be pay a lot of attention, okay, guys? So your left winger, your left high winger. So what you want to do, defensive support, he has basic defensive support. You have to keep that because you need some someone to get back because your wing backs are going to play high. Chance creation. You want them to stay, stay wide. Stay wide and get in behind, okay? The bottom ones don't matter. Support runs, get in behind. Intercessions, normal. Balance crossing runs, okay? That's, you don't want to mess around too much with that. But stay wide and get in behind. That's for your left winger. Your centre forward. You want them to stay central, okay? You want them to stay central. You don't want them drifting. The attacking runs, you want them to be a target man or a false nine, okay? Pretty much the same thing, but they at least with the false nine, they'll drop into the mids and help them out. Team like Liverpool's, that's not overly important, but for the sake of playing with other teams, we're going to leave it as a false nine, okay? And then interceptions, obviously, we don't mess around with, and they can come back on defence and help out. That's your centre forward. Salah in Liverpool, which is the right winger, he will offer basic defensive support. He will cut inside. So that's more player-driven driv because he is a um, obviously a gun player, but you want him to stay wide as well and get him behind from his support runs. That's how you want your two wingers to set up, okay? Because you want that width. And we'll show you after why that's really important. But for the sake of this, um, we're going to stay wide. Tiago, oh, central midfield. So you want a balanced attack. Uh, yes. Balanced crossing runs. Yes. Normal deceptions. Yes. Stick to position. Very key to cover those wings. Because your wingers are going to get forward. So you need your left and right midfielders ensuring they stick to their positions and cover those Cover those uh, gaps that are going to be out there, guys, as you can see. Over to left midfield. So same again, balance attacks, balance, normal interceptions, but stick to position, cover the wings. So you so it gives Robertson, in this time, in this team, Robertson, Alexander Arnold, or your left, right back, wing backs, chance to push forward and use their whip with their free, with their um crosses and their free kicks and stuff, okay? So you don't want to change anything here. Stick to position if your team doesn't have it and cover wing, very important. Central defensive midfielder. Now, most teams will probably have balanced defense. You want them to cut the passing lanes, okay? So that stops the counter attack. So you, that's very important, especially with a good defensive midfielder. As most teams would have, that people will use, will have a good defensive midfielder, cut those passing lanes. Balanced attack is fine. If you are confident in your defending, if you're not confident in defending, drop between defenders, okay? Get that extra help for the counter-attack. Normal interceptions is fine. Free roam, absolutely. So that gives them the ability to run from side to side, covering the wing, cutting off the passing lanes. If you put this to uh, stick position, you only cut the passing lanes down the middle, which does not help you 
when teams go wild, which is what they got to do to you. Okay, so free roam, very important, guys. Next out to Robinson. Now he will join the attack. Well, your left back has to join the attack. Okay, most teams in a in this situation will probably have this on their on their team. This one you want to overlap, run type, overlap. So that means he will get forward. He can be the furthest person forward if Diaz gets brought out or your left winger gets brought up, okay? And stick to position. So you don't want him drifting. You don't want him swapping sides, coming into the midfield because you've got Fabinho doing that and you've got the two other midfielders in your mid in midfield three already doing that. You'll just clutter it up and they'll give him a lot more, a lot more space to come out and cut you, okay? Van Dyke. Or centre back. We want them staying back while attacking. Normal intercession, stick to position. Very basic for a centre back. Same with the other centre back. Stay back while attacking. Normal interceptions, stick to position. Very, very basic stuff. Very important. Alexander Arnold. Now it's going to be a lot like um, the left back. So your right back is like your left back. Join the attack and overlap. Remember, you're going to probably have a team that's going to have inverted, which means more means he helps out more centrally if they have people attacking you down the middle, or Mixed attack, which is going to be most most player. You want to overlap. It's important that they overlap and they stick to their position. That will give you the most ultimate and optimal way to score goals and just be an absolute handful in that front three. And it's important because you have um, your center forward, your three, uh, three mids, they're going to cover that central. You don't need that support in the central. You need it wide where they're going to try and cut you. Here we go. Saving on crosses. Um, with me, it's always come for crosses. If you get scored against, you get scored against, but I have a lot more goals scored against him by them not coming than I've ever had with them coming. Okay, guys, I'm just going to help you out with how to come out from the back and the way I play it out. So we're going to start with that first short pass you'll do out to your center backs. Now, with this, as I show you, just mirror it over to the other side, okay? So if we can get a ball out here to Van Dyke from Allison, so your goalkeeper to your center back, then straight out here to your left back who should be running on from there. Now you let the left back take it down a bit. Okay, then you if Henderson or your center, midfielder comes or even Fabinho, you wanna come back to the middle, okay? If you can get back to the middle and then play a ball over to the top, over to your winger. I mean, this is perfect world, we know this. And then you want the winger to cut the byline, okay? You cut your byline, bit of trickery down here and get back to that middle. You gotta, Player, I hope you send a forward coming in. If you can get across even further, your right winger will come in there. And hopefully that helps you in getting... That's the, another way if you play long and you play straight down the middle and you're hitting that midfield, you pass the ball here. You then want to pass it back out to your width. So you'll uh, be a right back. That's a terrible line, but sorry, guys. Pass it, pass it straight out to your right back. Then down the line... You go straight down the line to your winger, who will then come back to the midfield, who can then cut it back to the middle, and then he gave a pass, pass, or shoot. The other thing, guys, if you find that the team is just parking the bus here, 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 <laughs> I mean, you know what it's like. Just pass. Let's go from your winger back to your mid, Cross to your um, centre forward, back out, then back out again if you have to. Back out here again, just keep passing around, come back to your left back, back to the middle, and it will drag these guys out. Okay, we'll drag them out. And it has a chance for your winger to cut him behind. It's a bit of a mess here. Cut him behind, or he can. you can get Mane or whoever your centre forward is to make runs forward, get around the keeper and dink him. Alrighty guys, hopefully that has now assisted you in how to play the game. We're just gonna adjust a couple of positions. If you're midfield three, I just want them to go a little bit wider. So just maybe just just wider than your center back. Line up the shoulder of the center back with the middle of the jersey of your midfielder, put them left central. And then your right central midfielder, same again, you just want them Line that middle up with the left part, uh, the middle of their Guernsey with the left shoulder, right shoulder, depending where you look at it, of the centre back. And other to that, that's perfect, guys. 
Hopefully this tactic help, totally helps you and you get better at this and you get from Div 1 to Div 2. If you appreciate this video, just give me a like guys, comment, subscribe. 